Now, if somebody uh, takes away something, others will try to grab it. It's basically uh, a battle between to see who's stronger. You can just see a chunk of concrete or rock thrown by one of the looters from the roof. A young boy is hit in the head. That's him there on the ground, captured on my DV camera. If he stays there, he might get killed. So I pick him up and carry him to the barricade. Blood is pouring from his head. He's clearly stunned and can't walk. I hand him over the barricade. And he's carried away. In the end, the store is emptied. The looters move on just down the street. We don't know what happened to that little boy. All we know now is there's blood in the streets. Uh, again, I don't want to paint a picture that that is happening all over Port-au-Prince because it is not. I know for several days it seems like I, I hear from folks in the States on, on TV saying, you know, that there's tension and frustration and, and violence. Uh, that's the first looting I have seen. And again, I was in a two-block area and, and it was happening on both streets. But I don't have the sense that it's happening all across Port-au-Prince and I haven't heard reports that it is. However, it is a fear uh, of what might come. And it is part of the hesitation on the part of some relief agencies in terms of just handing out mass amounts of aid without having security in place, without having organization and logistics in place, uh, creating a kind of uh, panic, creating a kind of frenzy uh, that they can't control.